everybody, it's Mr. Gaff here, and today we are going to be talking about parts of speech, mainly nouns, verbs, and adjectives. <laughs> now I know what you're probably thinking. Mr. Gaffney, what's your workout routine? It's a secret, alright? I ain't. I'm not telling you. I'll tell you one thing, this doesn't happen overnight. Two nights. No, what you're probably actually thinking is, uh, Mr. Gaff, you teach fifth grade. Why are you talking about all this simple stuff like nouns, verbs, and adjectives? Well, you would be surprised at the amount of students over the years I've asked to come up with a noun, a verb, or an adjective, and they're like, oh yeah, I got, I got it, I got it, I got it, uh, an adjective. Can I go to the bathroom? So it's just a little review. It's always good to go back to the basics with this kind of stuff and be really solid on your foundations. So first, let's start with noun. So a noun is used to identify either a person, a place, or a thing. Let's give some examples of each of those. A person could be somebody like... Well, me, Mr. Gaff. A place, the beach. Oh, that looks nice. I need sunscreen, real bad. Kitchen, I am not a cook. So any of that stuff behind me, I ain't using it. I'm calling Uber Eats. Or really any place that you can think of. Now things pretty wide open, right? It could be really anything that you see. Uh, doorknob, basketball, phone, tree, camera, lamp. Sandwich. I want to take a second and go through a small difference between what are called proper nouns and common nouns. Common nouns are most of what I just listed. Common nouns are not capitalized, and they're not specific to one certain place, person, place, or thing. Whereas proper nouns are very specific. So for example, I said restaurant, which is a place, which is a noun, that's a common noun. But if I used a specific restaurant, like Outback Steakhouse. A bloomin' onion! That would be capitalized. All proper nouns are capitalized. And you could do it for really anything. Teacher, common noun. Mr. Gaff, proper noun. In terms of a thing, a common noun would be water bottle. Whereas a proper noun would be Hydro Flask! Yeah! Hydro Flask. I know you kids love your Hydro Flasks. Alright, so those are nouns. It is either a person, a place, or a thing. Common nouns do not have to be capitalized and are not specific, whereas proper nouns refer to one specific person, place, or thing and always have to be capitalized. So let's move on to adjectives. An adjective is a describing word, and as a writer, the better your adjectives, the better your writing. Guaranteed. Why well, am I doing a karate pose right now? I don't know. I got bored. Karate! Yeah. So an example of an adjective would be muscular. I don't know who we would use it on. Oh wait. So if I were to make the sentence, the muscular teacher made a video, muscular would be my adjective because it describes the teacher, it describes the noun. I could also say something like, Mr. Gaffney is delusional. Delusional is the adjective because it's describing what I am. If you don't know what delusional is, you should go to the computer, look it up. So adjectives are everywhere and they help describe things. The lazy sloth, the happy dolphin. Oh, look at him. I want to take him home with me. The beautiful forest. Whee! This forest is so beautiful! So we use adjectives to describe how things look, how things sound, how things feel, how things smell, to describe really anything about an object that you want. Let's look at this example. I looked at the colorful cake. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, yummy yums. So we want to look for what word describes the cake. What is the cake? Well, the cake is colorful. So that is my adjective. I'm saying, I'm describing the cake as colorful. I'm gonna blow it out real quick. <sighs> Trick candles. Mom! So let's get into our last part of speech, verbs. Verbs are action words. It's what the object or person or thing in the sentence is doing. Let's go back to our previous sentence of the birthday cake. I looked at the colorful birthday cake. My verb in that sentence is what I'm doing, or looked, all right? I am looking at the birthday cake. Looking is a verb. So verbs can be things like jumped, listened, ran, yelled, <gasps> I'm just kidding, ah, gotcha, snickered, <laughs> I think that's a snicker, I'm not sure, swam, there's something behind me, isn't there? So verbs tell us what the focus of the sentence is doing. Are they looking? Are they screaming? Are they running? Are they yelling? Are they jumping? Are they praying? What are they doing? So let's do one more sentence before we head out of here. All right, we have Mr. Gaff fed the hungry cow some paper. Sick it. So we have a couple different nouns in that sentence. We have a person, 
me, Mr. Gaff, at least I think I'm human, and we have the cow. Now, Mr. Gaff, me, is a specific person, so it's a proper noun. The cow, unfortunately, doesn't yet have a name, so uh, we would just call it a common noun. To find adjectives, we're looking for words that describe something else. So, in that sentence, what is the cow? Well, the cow is hungry. So, hungry describes the cow. So, hungry is our adjective. So, lastly, we're looking for action words. What are the subjects of our sentence doing? Well, I am feeding the cow. So, fed would be our verb or our action word in that sentence. Okay, everybody, so that's really it. We have nouns, person, places, or things. We have adjectives, describing words, and we have verbs or action words. That's it for today. Hope everyone has a great time. The shark's behind me again, isn't it? Just walk really slowly. Yeah! <laughs>